For many parents, one of the hardest things to adjust to after they have a new baby is how do I get more, more sleep? And in the beginning, the first few months, you're not going to get much sleep because babies need to eat frequently. But as your baby gets older, you'll probably find that they just cry out at night, not because they need to eat, but because they're seeking comfort. And babies may want a bottle or a binky or just some love from mom and dad. And there's a couple of things you can do to help teach them to go back to sleep on their own to sleep better through the night. Basically, what you need to do is to teach your baby to go to sleep without your help, without the help of a binky, a bottle, or any love from you. So this is the definition of self-soothing. And once your baby is old enough, and after you've gotten the green light from your pediatrician, your baby doesn't need any more night feedings, so there's not any medical conditions that would make it so that you need to be up with your baby at night, then there's a couple of different ways you can approach it. Research has shown that crying it out is perhaps one of the most efficient ways to get your baby to learn how to go back to sleep at night without you. So you put your baby down after lots of love, a dry diaper, a feeding, and if they're just crying because they want you, you can let them cry. It's not going to hurt them. And if you're persistent with this for four to seven nights, which may feel like forever, but it does pay off because they sleep better after that, your baby will learn how to go back to sleep without you and you'll all be getting better sleep. But do, do know, mothers and fathers know their baby's cries. And if your baby's crying because, not just because they want you or they want their binky or they want their bottle, it's best to go in and check on them to make sure that they're not sick or in danger or in any immediate need. But if that's not the case, then just let them cry. And I promise after about four to seven nights, you'll, you'll be all sleeping better. If this seems a little harsh, um, there's a more graduated approach. Once you've, you know, again, fed your baby, changed them, given them lots of love and TLC, lay them down in their crib and just leave the room. And if they continue to cry at that point or wake up later during the night, give it about five or 10 minutes and then go in and check on them, gently touch their little tummy. Um, that tells them that you're still there but resist any urge to make eye contact, to talk to them, turn on lights or pick them up and just turn around and walk right back out of the room. And then if they continue to cry, slowly increase the amount of time um, before you go on and check on them again. So after waiting the five or 10 minutes, then wait 10 or 15 and then wait 20 or 25. And then if needs be, wait 35 to 40 minutes. And then again, after about a week of doing this and being persistent with it, your baby should learn that by crying, they're not going to get what they want most, which is you or a binky or a bottle. And they'll learn to go back to sleep on their own. I hope it works for you. And if you have any other questions for me, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page and recommend us to your friends and family too.